I work on the conservation genetics of endangered birds and what that means is that I try to make sure that small isolated populations have enough genetic diversity to both survive and thrive in the future. A really helpful example is if we think about New Zealand black robin. So uh, there are species that went down to two individuals and today we've actually got 200 individuals. But something that the folks that work with black robin have to think about is, is whether or not there's actually enough genetic diversity in that species to respond to um, random events like a disease outbreak or, or a really big uh, hurricane. Some of the work that I do is I actually, um, I'm a matchmaker. So we use genetic data to uh, provide advice about which bird should be paired with which. And the general idea is, the less related you are to someone, the better your match is. What we do is in the routine management of the birds, we take their blood samples and we look at their DNA and we generate lots and lots and lots of markers to estimate how related they are to one another. And essentially what we do is we have a, a group of birds that are potential breeders. We know if they're male or female. And in the instance of Kaki, what, what then happens is that um, a group of them get put together in the aviary and the aviculturalist, or the person who actually works with the birds uh, in the aviary, has a wee look to see if someone's taking a shine on, on another bird, and then she'll actually put them together by the, on their own in another aviary. And all going well, they'll build a nest and lay some eggs.